Karen, who is right there, um, that this is what kind? Of Your thing. Your and thing. you can't use that for resin? You can. You can use that for resin. However, you have to put a release in it, silicone release. Oh, I see. Okay. So it is doable, but the method I'm going to do with the very simple metal powder it works great with a silicone mold. Okay. Very easy to do. And I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to get this way so I don't get your mouth behind it. Okay. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Now these are. Uh, uh, this is a sil One piece comes directly silicone out. Silicone mold, yeah. <laughs> wow, that looks. That, you know, that looks like stone. Yeah. That's pretty cool. We can do all kinds of different finishes. All right. Um, different metals, patina, additives, and no seam lines, no chasing. Yeah. Small stuff like that. But. All right. What's the first step we do? Okay. Or do you want to get started now or later? Um, let's pause and I'll get stuff ready. Now, these are hollow resins. I don't know how she does that. I think she... she uh, rolls it around in the mold. And see, this is a solid one. Same thing. This is a hollow one as well. So you don't have to make a solid resin. You can make a hollow wet resin. Now, in here, in the back room, she's also got all these different clays that you can, when you come to the store, you can feel them and, and see which ones you like. Wow. I like this clay. This is this is a good clay. This is uh, right. by uh, Chavant. This clay here. This is really nice clay right here. But anyway, what what they have is samples of different clays, and then they've got the supply of the clays right here. This is Karen Richardson, and she's the founder and president of uh, Sculpture Depot. And she's going to lower herself to do some common, ordinary pouring. That's what I love to do. I got some Easy Flow 60. I'll urethane let... resin from Polytech. We use just little cheap Dixie cups. What is it, one to one? One to one. If you're doing real small stuff, you want to measure it uh, or weigh it. It's yeah. 90 to 100 for small stuff. But this is our scientific way of measuring. I just eyeball it. <laughs> Once you put the lids back on, you want to mark them. What? I'll make sure that people, you know that. A, A you... and B, because if you put the, they'll. They'll cap, they'll, uh, oh, okay. Mark the lids before you use it. Okay, so I should have started. I'm going to show how we use um, a pigment. Hold on. Let me come over and take a look at it. It's just a um, metallic pigment. Down, down inside there is a metallic pigment she's putting in to her mold. And this is a very cheap and easy way to get colors on your casting. So I should have done this first. And see these other bags here are pigment too. So with a silicone mold you can do this, not with urethane, but silicone. The silicone has some oils so the pigment sticks just like a deflowering cake pan. Mm -hmm. So now I've got. Let me uh, get close to that. I can keep pounding. Okay. I want to make sure I get it up around all the edges. And this is where gloves are nice. Okay. Now I saw that liquid glove. Can that work out well for this? Or? Um. Yeah. It, it will. The stuff will wash off. But I'm messy, so I wear gloves. So then you just make sure that you tap out the excess. Okay. So we're going to have a, a lion head that color. Okay. And our little cameo is going to be copper. All right, I'm going to let her do the coloring and then I'll come back. Yeah, we're just going to pour. 
He's mixing the two uh, parts of the liquid, resin. One is amber and one is clear. You want to mix it till you don't see any amber swirls. You have a two and a half minute pot life. And when the cup starts getting warm, you better be pouring. This that's, is, that's like mixing foam. So this is kind of a fast one and I kind of pour over the stick, pops the bubbles, mm -hmm. don't drink too much coffee. You didn't use a stick for that one. I didn't. Okay, I got a little too much on that, but it'll be all right. Because actually what I'm going to do is just pour it off. There we go. Pouring uh, the remainder into that mold because she's got a little bit left. Oh, look, perfect. Fill that one just right. Just perfect. Wow. And then we get the actual color of the resin to see what that looks like. All right, we'll come back. How long is this going to take? Less than five minutes. Okay. Yes. She just barely poured that and it's already setting. And this one too. Yes. Asked her how long, she's about five minutes and it's already doing it. That one's already done. Yeah. That one's already done? Wow. It's exothermic, so in the center it gets hotter. Yeah. And sets faster, and then the edges take a little longer. So we won't pull that one out for a little while. Right. This one. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying. She's demolding it now. Well, that's just the, the excess, right? That's the flashing, what we call. Yeah. Oh, that's my silver. Where I didn't get it. That's where I didn't get enough color. Oh, okay. I see. But, yeah, it took whatever color that I put in. Yeah. Take a look at that. Well, it's not hot now. No, that one's cool. It's smaller. That's really cool. You see, she just didn't get the powder completely covering the mold. Right. So if I use a clear resin with a brown dye, yeah. you wouldn't be able to tell, yeah. too. But this is our little lion head. I our... always thought to put the coloring in the resin. Oh. Wow. See, and I missed the eye there. Probably put as a bubble, but oh, peeled it off right there. Now I can go in with some wax and this powder yeah. and put that on there as well, but it took the color of the powder. Yeah, that's amazing. And then... And it went yeah. through the whole damn thing. Well, actually, it kind of came up to the that's back. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And now I, have, now I have a beautiful mold, too. <laughs> yeah. And this one, the little angel... So this, this is an opportunity for some of you that want to do yeah. something to cast in resin. And let me tell you something, that's just absolutely perfect. And that's just a straight resin without anything else. And it looks like a little carving mm -hmm. in marble. You could paint it. Um, we, can metal, yeah. we could metal powder uh, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Very quick. Very easy. Thank you, Karen. You're welcome. She just took a look at me and uh, can't stop laughing. This is a resin. Go ahead and tell me about it, Karen. Um, the artist that does these does um, water-based clay, bronzes, and the resins, and paints these. And this is a piece that you really can't do in bronze and get the same effect. And sells so many of them. It's just incredible. Wow. Now show me this other one. Okay, in this piece... Um, show how it's hollow. Valentina Korokov. Russian artist, um, lightweight, very, very durable, very durable. Resin. Resin, Easy Flow 120. So this is a good example, too, that it's not just for small stuff. We actually can do these in life-size pieces and put them together. Now, do you cast these things on, uh, by commission here? In other words, somebody can say, have a mold made of something and then you, you do the casting? Um, Brian used to. Okay, so you don't do it anymore. We don't do it anymore. But, but it's so easy to do. And there's a market for that, for somebody yeah. to do that, because yeah. uh, a lot of people would like to have So if effect. anybody out there wants to start a business of uh, 
pouring for other artists. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and there are a few businesses um, down south in other areas, that, and, and that's what people do for a living. All right, well, that's going to be it from Sculpture Depot today. I'm going to be